Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this lecture series, I will be starting uh, demonstrating you the report portal tool. Now report portal basically is an uh, AI powered test automation dashboard. Uh, it means that it can uh, store all your automation results and it can do its analysis and figure out what are the test cases failing. Is it a product bug? Is it an automation bug or is it a system issue and those kind of things. So without getting any delay, let's directly jump onto the screen. So on my screen, you can clearly see like it has this, it is demonstrating why you should use report portal. So again, real time analytics based on the, uh, your test case uh, history, then the visualization of test results, then it has some AI and ML integrated in the backend that can help you figure out that is it uh, an automation bug system issue or a product bug actually. It is open source best part about it so these are some demonstration which they have given on the website i will give you the url in the description or you can just go to reportportal.io and keep scroll down for the same so without getting any delay uh, let's jump into the deployment part which is this video all about so again you can go to the website and uh, click on product and hit the installation button and you will be redirected to the installation mechanism which it supports uh there are a few uh you can use docker you can use kubernetes or openshift uh you can use google cm and the method which we will be using today is deploying it using docker so steps are pretty much clear uh in the documentation itself i will be adding that link in the description for the same you just have to uh copy this command so it basically is downloading this yaml file this docker hyphen compose dot yaml file into your repository because that is what curl command do so let us run this and here is my terminal and uh, okay now i have a folder created named as report portal i recommend you to maintain a separate folder for these kind of things because they might generate some results or some data that might be required in the future so let's paste the command and hit enter now you see i have a file named as docker hyphen compose.kml let us focus on the component of this file so you can open it in your preferable text editor i use vs code so i will be doing it in the same so a docker compose file basically consists of multiple services with what are the volumes we are attaching what are the port we will be using for the network trafficking and all those things so the first service which they are using they have given it a name as gateway and they are using the traffic image the image tag they have mentioned it then they have all these bunch of volumes attached and these uh, extra flags for the same then there is a service named as open search then there is service named as postgres then there is index service then there is the ui service for report portal then one should be for the api and uh, then one is the authorization service then we have the job service so there are around eight to nine services we have in total in this file but the things which you should look for are the password basically so if you do a uh, search for the word password you will see a few of options here so let's go on the first occurrence of this word which is right here so these are the credentials which you should be changing if you are deploying it on production i am doing it on testing so i'm not going to change anything so this is the username and password for your database the postgres sql database then then there is this one another password which is the initial password so as soon as you set up your report portal it will automatically create a user named as super admin which is basically the admin user uh, that has a bunch of permission to do operations on report portal make sure you update this password as well if you are deploying it on the production and uh, the another thing which you should keep in mind is that in some scenarios you might have that port 8080 can be used by some another services uh, i have a bunch of uh, queries about the same that uh, they have deployed jenkins on the same machine so they have port 8080 busy so if you want the report portal to be run on any other port make sure you override this value so let's say 9090 and don't forget to add this extra line expose you have to expose the port 8080 because this is the port 
which all these services use in the back end you don't have to worry about it it is not going to impact any other services so the port mapping work in a way that this will be the machine port on which report portal will be running and this will be the container port so these are two separate things you don't have to worry about adding an extra 8080 but if you want to run it on a separate port just define it here and don't forget to expose this port here the another thing which most people are facing is related to that they are just stuck on loading screen for that you can enhance the memory limitation increase it from 2 to 4 gigabytes it will be enough so i am not going to change anything in the file let me revert back all the changes I have done and perfect. Now here's the main thing which you should remember if you are using Linux. Docker can be executed either via root user or either, either via rootless user. Now I would recommend to switch to the root user first and then do all the operations because running Docker with known root users might cause a little failure in your scenario because that is the issue which i have personally been struggling from like last day and finally it got resolved i just have to update the permission of my uh, docker.socket file which is located under slash var slash run but uh, i do not want to stuck in that situation so i will be switching to the root user first sudo su now the command might be different for you based on your linux distro you are using or on windows on windows you have to eventually uh, run the command as uh, administrator so if i do ls you see i have the same file existed here what's the next command they have mentioned in the documentation is the next command which you will be executing is this one which is starting the actual application so copy it from here now there are a few differences uh, in the in the older versions of docker we used to have a command separately named as docker hyphen compose but in current scenario in the latest versions it is being replaced and it you can simply just remove the hyphen and add a space something like this you can do docker compose hyphen p then this will be the name of your uh, containers which will be spawning once you hit the command up basically means that up all the services which are written in this compose file and uh, hyphen d stands for the backend that run all these things in the backend don't just uh, fool my terminal with all the random gibberish and force recreate means that if any container fails to launch try to restart the same now as soon as i hit the enter button in my scenario it is directly started running all these services because my machine has all the images exist in your scenario the output might look a different in your scenario the output will look something like this that it is pulling all these images once all the images will get pulled you will see the similar output that starting all these 14 or 19 services and you will see the progress going on uh, with their uh, statistics once you have all the check marks now make sure that all the services should run before you uh, move further if there is any issue feel free to drop it in the comment box or create an issue on the report portal official website which is of course the github repository now let's clear it what is it they have to say next is that launch the report portal now here they have mentioned uh, that use the ip address so currently i am deploying this setup on my personal laptop so it will be local host but in your scenario it might be the case that you are using some another virtual machine or something where you are deploying all these things so type the address of that machine here instead of local host but in my case it's local host so let me go there and the port we mentioned was 8080 just hit the enter so if on port 80 it won't open for you try to add this uh, slash ui in the end and uh, let us wait for a few bit now this may take from 1 to 15 minute to uh, basically process all the things in the back end wait for a few minutes before moving ahead and in my scenario it is up and running so we created a user so a user again by default created named as super admin now there are multiple users created by default which are not admin but let me just show you uh, what you will see after the login and the password was erebus because we didn't change it and you hit the login button and here we go we have our report portal up and running now this is how you can start your report portal but if you want your report portal to you know like uh, remove or something you can use the same command just remove everything the hyphen sorry the up hyphen d and hyphen hyphen force recreate 
and just type down and it will stop all the services which it has started and it will stop your report portal so this is just an fyi before uh, i finish the video and it's done so this is how you can use docker to deploy your report portal and in the further videos we will be covering all the features it has slowly slowly so if you like the video feel free to hit the like button and uh, share it with your friends those who want to learn the port portal or want to explore it a bit and thanks for watching